What up, comic book kids? Super Nerd 81 here coming to you yet with another Funko Pop review. Now, this one is going to be on the Marvel Collection Core uh, box set, Woman of Power. So, if you haven't uh, gotten your box set in yet for some strange reason, um, then I suggest that uh, you uh, don't watch this major spoilers coming up. So, we're going to just talk about what's in the box, what was the Funko Pop that everyone, you know, knew basically what it was already, was uh, Squirrel Girl here. Now, I think this is a really cool pop. A lot of people will, oh, it's dumb, it's dumb. No, I think it's really cool that Marvel is uh, not um, catering to, like, the normal superheroes, like, you know, She-Hulks and Captain Marvel, which are the popular ones right now because of Civil War. I'm glad that they brought in uh, Squirrel Girl because she's actually a pretty cool character, if you think about it. I mean, I really don't know too much about her, so I had to go on uh, Wikipedia to go find out some stuff about her. Like I said, Wikipedia is not 100% right, but so far from what I read, it's pretty interesting. So, a little bit about Squirrel Girl before I get started unboxing her. She um, she first uh, came out in, uh, first appearance was in the Marvel Superhero Volume 2, um, number 8, and that was on the Winter Special uh, cover. It was back in 92 she came out, so she's been out for quite a while. It's just that no one really knew about her till now, you know, till like uh, till Marvel did the reboot. And now everyone knows about Squirrel Girl. And like a lot of people like her, a lot of people don't like her. And I think she's cool. I think she's a cool character. And, um, you know, like she, she has powers and abilities. She just communicates with squirrels, her major one. But she has a superhuman strength also and super agility, senses. And she has uh, retractable uh, um, claws, of course, so she can climb up trees and be you know, like a squirrel. And it's pretty cool. She has actually, like, uh, one of her powers is that she uh, actually has a retractable, um, like, uh, knuckle spikes that she can uh, come out, uh, attract and um, come in and out of. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, enough about Squirrel Girl, her origin. Let's go ahead and, uh, if you want to find out more about Squirrel Girl's origin, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of YouTubers out there who've done a origin on squirrel girl so if you're interested go check them out and go see what uh what they have to offer about her so here is uh the um, funko pop box of squirrel girl and if you look right here you have a squirrel girl right here along with her little squirrel pet i don't know the pet's name though i i didn't see that on here but uh yeah and then on the back right here you have all the um marvel uh the, uh, from the Marvel lineup of the, all the women uh, that's coming out. Of course, the spider Gwens, which is the most popular one that's really hard to get anywhere. she hulks I've seen that Hot Topic. Of course, Captain Marvel, I've seen that Hot Topic also. But the mask Captain Marvel, I haven't seen yet. So you should go, uh, if you can, go pick them all up. So let's go ahead and um, box Squirrel Girl here. Now this one right here is, the, like I said, she's a pretty nice character. I think she's pretty cool. You know, like she, she's funny. She's very, very funny. She, she. I saw her like maybe in the Ultimate Spider-Man uh, cartoon show that she was in a couple times, and of course she's more of a, um, more of a comedic character in there than anything. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what she, she's about here. And um, from what I can see right now, she's pretty cool. Of course, uh. The Marvel always has to have the bobbleheads. That's what they they like, and I don't know why. Personally, I don't like bobbleheads. I think they're they break too easy, and they're just not not that great. But she has her big puffy squirrel tail, which I think is really cool, really 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 cool. And she has her uh, her ears, of course. Now her ears, you know, she, that's actually a um, a bow. They're not they're not they're not a part of her head or anything like that. She is considered a mutant though, but she doesn't have the ears. She actually made the ears along with her costume here. And I think that's a uh, pretty really cool. I like it. She has her earrings on, their uh, their acorns, and um, I think that's really cute. I, I honestly, I'm gonna say it. I think it's cute. I think it's a really cute pop. And I'm really glad that the Women of Power came out with this one. And a lot of people, like I said, were hating on this pop, but I don't know why. I mean, why hate? You can't do anything about it. Just just take it, accept accept it. You know, it's a really nice pop too. It's really cool. So yeah, there's a uh, there's Squirrel Girl here. I'll see if I can get her little companion out now. I like what uh, Funko does. I mean, they make these really small pops. You know, like uh, they did with the Ant Man when Ant Man came out. They made uh, that really small uh, variant of, of um, Ant Man. And look, here's her. Oh man, it's so hard to to hold up there. But yeah, there there uh, is her little Squirrel companion. I don't know uh, her name. I I'm assuming it's a girl because it has a pink bow. On the back right there but yeah it's a it's a bobblehead too so um funko really knows what they're doing with the whole really knows what they're doing with their funko pops i mean they can make them this small and still have a bobblehead that's that's really cool so 
yeah, like I said, I don't know her name. I really wish I did. If you guys know her name, put a comment in, uh, comment down in the section below and uh, tell me her name because I'm really curious to see because I saw Wikipedia. It didn't actually say this girl's name. So if you guys know the name, please put a comment. So yeah, well, that's it for Squirrel Girl. Like, really not that, you know, much to her, but except for, like, the really good detail on her costume. You have her, um, her yellow belt right there, her jacket. I think it's a bomber jacket. Yeah, it's a bomber jacket with her... With her leggings and uh, and her shorts right here, and then her boots and all like she really uh, she's really really uh, squirreled out basically. So yeah, it's really cool. So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, Squirrel Girl and the Women of Power for the Marvel Collection Core. The next one to come out is going to be a Spider Man one. So a lot of people are curious to see what they're gonna get in that one. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the uh, this uh, unboxing of um, Funko Pop. Um, I am a super nerdy one. Please subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate all the subscriptions that you get. I'm trying to get more followers. And if I hit 50, I'm actually going to do a prize. So keep those um, keep those uh, subscriptions, please, coming in. And uh, as soon as I hit 50, I'm going to do a um, I'm gonna get, do a giveaway. My first, first giveaway. So like once I hit 50, I'm going to do it. So yeah, please subscribe down below. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Give a thumbs down if you don't like it. Leave a comment if you want in the comment section. I appreciate everything. All right, comic book kids. Catch you on the next issue. Peace.